Hello, let's look at uh, an Excel question. There is an Excel question here that is uh, very challenging. So we have this data, create a workbook named contest, one mark. In a, work, in a worksheet named registration, uh, enter the data as it appears. So uh, this is the data. So this worksheet of mine should be named as registration registration then this workbook of mine should be saved as contest should be saved as a contest so i just go to browse then i go to my desktop then save it as a contest like that we carry on the next question is that both test one and two were out of 30 validate the test one and test two columns such that the marks rise between one and 30. Rather, a message wrong value should be created. So we just go to where test one is. This is where test one is. We validate, go to data, then go to the last parts here. We have uh, data validation, click on validation. Then choose whole number. It is between one and 30. 1 and 30. In case that one is violated, you get an error message, wrong value. Wrong value. Uh, wrong value. That is the error. So I click on OK. Now, in case here I come and type something like that, 4, you see now I get the error, wrong value. That's what the examiner wants. You see now I have validated that. We carry on. The contest took place on 2nd February 2020. The value which is here is set in A11. By the use of appropriate function, calculate the age of each participant in years rounded to the nearest whole number. So uh, this is the formula that you use there. So you use this formula, date if, D2, then you put this one in absolute. A11, so that it doesn't change. Uh, why? So the explanation is here. The explanation is that 2, uh, the value containing the participant's date of birth, that is 2. Uh, this one, A11, this is the cell where you have entered the contest date. Absolute reference, so that it, it stays fixed when you copy it down. Then you have Y. Y is the argument that returns the difference in complete years. So this is the formula that I will use to calculate the age. So I just come to this age here and put it. You see now the first age is 10 years. Then I just drag. You see now it has calculated the it has calculated the age. We carry on. The, the next question is that um, in the same worksheet, create table two below in the cells indicated to show the school's name and the subject they participated in. So we have this schools that is from A13 downwards. So I just go and do the same. You see now, this is whatever I have here. Uh, I have it from the required part by the examiner. So we carry on. What is the next question the examiner wants? So we just check what next examiner uh, is asking so I just go to my desktop then I just open my question uh -huh. so uh, the next question here that the examiner want me to to extract let me just go to WhatsApp and grab the grab the question so I want to grab the question there so we proceed uh, using a validation list and the details in table two, populate the quorum labeled subjects. So here, uh, they want to see if this is MG, then it gives uh, chemistry. If it is MG, it gives mathematics. So use if function equals to if, if you open the bracket, you click on the school. If if this one equals to uh, equals to 
if this one equals to uh, mg, mg, then we give chemistry. We give chemistry like that. We give chemistry. So uh, the next one, you start if again if C2 equals to uh, the next subject here, if C2 equals to uh, make equals to make comma, then this one is biology. Bi biology. Like that, we proceed. If, proceed again, if C2 is uh, if C2 equals to uh, if C2 equals to SSS SSS then we give physics we give uh, we give physics physics we give physics like that comma uh, so we proceed if again C2 uh, C2 equals to uh, right if equals to right uh, then comma we give it chemistry we give it chemistry uh, MG MG was mathematics chemistry then like that then I go correct this chemistry here this one I correct it to Mathematics. Mathe. Mathematics. Guys, then from here, cross it and hit enter. Mm -hmm. Let me just see whether the, the error is coming from uh, physics. Uh, there is no quotes. I forgot to put the quotes. You see now the formula works well. So the first MG is mathematics. So I just need to pull this downwards. Now that one is done. Then we proceed to the next question. The next question is that um, to calculate the total score, test 1 is multiplied by 0 0.6 and added to test 2, which is multiplied by 0 0.4. So test 1 is multiplied by test 1 is multiplied by 0. Point, so it's 0. 0.6 multiply test 1 like that put the bracket like this put the bracket then here plus 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.4 you can put the bracket 0 0.4 multiply by test 2 like this cross the bracket hit enter so this is the total then from here you just drag then the next question, the next question, so the next question, the next question is that um, uh, format the values of total column into two decimal places. So I just uh, have this one, increase the decimal places to two. Then we proceed. The next question is that based on the total column, perform the following conditional formatting. If the total is greater than or equal to 20, then fill in the with yellow. That is if total is greater or equal to 20. So what you do, you just highlight this, this column of the total, hit on conditional formatting, go to highlight, then greater or equal to. We have greater uh, than or equal to. So you can just go to more rules and check whether there is greater or equal to. So greater, greater or equal to, uh, greater or equal to, the examiner says greater or, greater or equal to 20. So you type 20. Then what do you do? You format, you put caraero, you put caraero uh, like that. So you click on OK. You see now the ones that are equal to 20 have been converted to yellow card. Then we proceed. The next point, if the total is less than, less than 20, then 
uh, the fill in the cell will be light green. So we can still uh, try to have that by going to uh, this point, then go to, uh, we have more rules here. So uh, the value here, the value, uh, they say only the bottom rank, the value should be less than 20. So we have format set, uh, we have greater or equal to, we have the next one, the next one is less than 20. Less than 20, we format with right green. This is right green or green, like that. So after having done that, create another column named performance factor. Performance factor is determined by dividing the difference of test two and test one and dividing it by contestant age. So performance index, we create uh, that, that one. We create the performance factor. Uh, performance factor is gotten by uh, the difference between test two minus test one. Then you divide this by the age. Put the bracket divided by divided by the age. So divided by the age, you click on the age, press enter. So this is 0 0.8, then you just drag. So the next point is uh, in a new column, in a new column named comments, declare the comment winner if the performance factor is greater than zero, otherwise none winner. So this is simple. Uh, we have the remarks, remarks. So just type equals if, if this field is greater than zero, comma, put winner, put winner, else not winner, not winner. This is, should be in quotes. Also this one should be in quotes. Also this one should be in quotes. Then cross the bracket, press enter. So this is a winner. The others, let's see. So if it's greater than winner, than a zero, it's winner. Then the next question is, copy the data in registration worksheet to a new worksheet called analysis. Sort the data analysis by ascending order of the school. So we have analysis, analysis, then copy this work, copy, we want all of it, copy, then paste, paste, we paste this one, first of all we can copy this one, copy, we want to paste, paste there, then we, we, we do the, we, we, uh, we arrange this one according to school in the setting order. So just go to data, then sort, then you just choose here uh, the name of the school in a setting order, like that. That's what the examiner wants. Then from there, uh, we proceed uh, by use of a subtotal function, determine the averages of test one and test two of each school. So to apply subtotals, you just go to data, then subtotal, subtotal here. Then we want to use the, 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 the that is the school name. Then here, the examiner says we use the total, the total, like that. You just click on OK. But we needed to sort the, the school, which is one more like that. Then using registration worksheet, create a well-labeled column graph to show contestants and performance factor for all the contestants uh, in a new worksheet named graph. So here, uh, when we are in this point, point here, we want to have the contestant. So I highlight contestants, then I hold the control key and the performance factor. Is it the performance factor? and the contestant and the performance factor. 
So I just go to where the performance factor is. I also highlight. This one is called selecting and adjacent cells. You hold control. Then you, you go to insert. You, you go to where the column chart is. Uh, this is my column chart. Then I want to move this column chart to a new worksheet. You hit move chart. You, then you click the upper upper part and name the way examiner has it then you click on okay you see now it moves to a new worksheet as a new chart um guys uh there there, there is an error in the question there is an error in the question whereby they want you to do this these two parts so you can just follow the way i have shown you for the purpose of knowledge guys thank you very much for watching Remember to subscribe, remember to like and share my video.